Hello, I'm going to demo how to create a crossy road game using Scratch. So this is kind of what we're looking, looking for is uh, a cat walking across. He, oh, barely missed me there. He gets a donut and I win. Okay, then it resets after a few seconds and I can try again. Okay, so very basic. So this is kind of what we're going to look at creating. <clears throat> so let's make a new one. It looks harder than it is. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, uh, I mean, maybe you want to do a chicken because there is a chicken across your road. I'm going to do a cat because I'm calling mine Scratchy Road. <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is uh, probably shrink down my cat. So to do that, I can just bring in under looks. I can change size, let's say, to 50%. Okay, that looks, looks good. And then I can actually just drag this back into the menu. I don't need that anymore. Okay, because I want to create space for my other objects. Now on the cat, I want to get my, um, my, my movement down. So um, in order to do that, I need to set up a bunch of events. So in this case, I'm not going to be looking at the flag to start my movement. I want to actually set it up so that when I hit certain keys, my cat will respond. So I'm going to bring in this when space key is pressed, and I'm going to set that to up. So when up arrow is pressed, back under motion, I'm going to change, where is it here? Change Y by 10. So the Y axis is up and down. So if I change it by 10, he's going to inch up. Okay, so let's give that a try here. Okay, I'm pressing the up arrow, he's moving up. So if you were to change that number to, let's say 20, then he's going to move farther with every tap. Okay, so it's up to you to, def to find that sweet spot. I'm going to keep it at 10 for now. Okay, so we can do that for the other directions too. In Crossy Road, I, I don't think you can go back. No. So I'm just going to set up r left and right, but it's totally up to you guys what you want to do for your own game. Okay, now for left and right, I'm going to be changing X. X is the axis that goes horizontally. Okay, so let's uh, change X by minus 10. That will move us to the left. And if I change X by 10 for the right arrow, that will move us along the right. So now I've got my basic movement down, and I can go left and right, and I can go up. Okay. So you can see with, with, these, with this code, you can make you know, any, any number of games once you get that basic movement down. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to make a cross your own game, but that's what we're doing today. Okay, so next I want to add something that will uh, unfortunately run over my cat. Well, if I'm unlucky. So it can be anything you want. Uh, traditionally, we have cars, but if you want to do like, uh, you know, hippos with wings <laughs> or witches or unicorns, whatever you want to do. I'm going to just stick with uh, something here like, let's say, a, a Volkswagen. Okay, and again, I can make that smaller if I just uh, drag in my set size. Let's try 50% for that one too. And click on it. It's pretty good. Okay, so my Volkswagen, I want to start as soon as the flag is clicked. Okay, I'm not controlling it with any keys. So I'll drag that in. And what I want to do is I want to use this uh, code that says glide one second to another location. Okay, so <clears throat> Actually, what I'll first do is I'll set him to this position. So let's say uh, minus x is minus 200 and y is minus 25. If I move my mouse around, you see these two little numbers here, these change. That is referring to my location. Okay? So x minus 100, x or y minus 25. Yeah, it's like a graph if you've done graphing. So uh, minus 200 and minus 25. Okay, so when that's clicked, it's going to reset to that location. 
Now, I want to make it glide towards, I'm going to keep y the same because I want him to stay on the, the same on the y-axis, but I want him to move along the x-axis to about, let's say, uh, x is 220. Okay? So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so when I click the flag, it's going to take him one second to glide to that new location. I may have gone a little bit too far. Let's say 200. That's better. Okay. Now, if I want to make him go back to the other position, I can glide back to x is minus 200. Okay, so essentially, he'll go that way, and then he'll go back. Okay, so it takes him one second to go each way. Now, you'll notice my car only goes once. It's a one-way trip right now. So in order for that to keep going back and forth for all of eternity, at least until I hit stop, I can go under control and repeat that forever. So I bring in that forever loop. And I don't want to put it on top of uh, this thing because this is my reset. Okay. So now when I hit the, the flag, the car will go back and forth forever. So to make this look better, I could even add a flip, because right now he's kind of going forward and re reverse. Okay, so let's try to, uh, let's see if there is a flip. I guess what I could do is add a costume. Uh, if I, uh, let's go to costumes, duplicate, and then let's see if I can, Use a select. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's an easier way actually. Um, let's undo that. Edit, undelete. Um, okay, I've, I've really done it now. Uh, let's go back to costume. There is an easier way. There's this one right here for flip left to right. Okay, so if I duplicate this guy and I click on this flip, there, that's better. So I've got car bug, car bug, and car bug two. I'm just going to rename this as car bug right and car bug left. Okay, so what I can do now is uh, switch costume. So it's going to switch it to car bug right. Then he's going to drive right. And then I'll switch costume to car bug left and he's going to drive left. So let's see how that works. Okay, so he's actually flipping now. Looks pretty good. Now the other thing I want to do is uh, make this car move at random speeds. Now you, you can not have it set up pretty predictable like this if you like, but I like to add a little bit of randomness to this. So what I want to do, instead of saying glide one second, I'm going to drag this pick random. So right now once it, it could take one second, I'll say let's do a 0.5 to 2. Okay, 0.5 is going to be very fast. It's going to kind of be funny. Uh, and let's see that. Okay, so now it could go slow or it could go very fast. He's going more slow than fast, I think. There we go. Okay, so as you're going through, you might say, okay, I'm safe. And then, oh, he got me. But wait a second. The car doesn't actually hit me. So let's go back to my sprite. One thing I do want to add is a reset. So I'll drag this flag in. So let's say when that is clicked, let's reset him to x is 0 and y is minus uh, 145 or something like that. OK, go to x is 0 and y is minus 145. Okay, so I want to add uh, some code that basically makes me return to my starting position when I get hit by the car as well. Okay, so that's under sensing, and I want to set up a uh, another event, and this will be a uh, an if statement. So if 
is touching the car bug. So if the cat is touching the car bug, then I just want to go back to my starting position. Okay, so let's give that a try. Oh, it didn't work. Now, why didn't it work? Because it's only checking that the moment I click this flag. If I wanted to constantly check that condition, I actually have to put in a for, that in a forever loop. Okay, so this will mean that it'll constantly be checking to see if I'm touching that car. And as soon as I am, it'll reset. Okay, so let's try that one more time, and it works. Okay. So you can add several obstacles if you like. The last, the very last thing I'll show you is how to add a, um, I guess, a target. So what do cats like? Um, I put a donut last time. Cats like birthday cake too, I think. Maybe it's a cat's birthday. All he wants to do is eat his cake. Okay, just going to shrink this down again. Okay, so all I need to do is uh, set up another uh, event here. So very similar to this one here. So when the uh, green flag is clicked, we'll put a forever loop. And we're just going to check to see if it's touching the cake. Okay, so if the cat is touching the cake, what do we want to do? Well, maybe we can have the cat say something. He can say, uh, you know, I win, okay? And then uh, maybe what you want to do is reset the game. Then he'll say, uh, he'll say, I win. And then he'll say something like, let's play again. Okay, and then I'll just reset him to that starting position again. Okay, so let's try to get him past this car here. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is the one. Okay, you got through. Okay, so I get to the cake. I win. Okay, let's play again. And then I can play it again. So there we go. That's a very basic uh, crossy road game in Scratch. You can definitely add more things. You can add more obstacles. You can, uh, you know, make it more complicated. <clears throat> if you want to have your objects kind of scrolling instead of going back and forth, you can do that as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that gets you started and thanks for watching.